so guys today you know around 10 o'clock i got a call okay from a girl like normally she texted hi pavan uh, i am pile and then she started giving me video call okay video call something very strange had happened before i tell this i'll tell you how my day was today my day was good like morning we had exams it was good and then uh, normally i reached home took a break watched few things few videos here and there relax my mind then i had a conversation uh, i i slept for some time i had a conversation with my student his name was adi and i and adi spoke we are very like very close students and uh, teacher relationship we were we spoke we spoke about many things and all then suddenly after that i had a conversation with my teacher and then everything was done so 10 o'clock i thought okay fine before i sleep you know i had few works to be kept pending i thought let me do it so in whatsapp uh, this girl uh, texted me hi pavan okay uh, not hi pavan i hi am pai pai okay hi my name is pai so when she texted hi pile i was like okay fine why because normally all my students text in that way so okay hi i asked and in basic formality I, i was just asking and this girl was giving me constant video calls which i rejected normally i don't pick up the calls often like most of my students know i don't pick up the call but it was constant video call i thought it was my students itself because only they do it okay so she started giving video calls i cut the call and then put the message uh, i like have we met before like uh, where have we met i just asked that question why because i recently used to use this phone of what do we call uh, this uh, xiaomi ka phone you know from xiaomi to phone i changed to an iphone recently so when i changed to iphone what happened all my contacts lost and each chat previous history of chat no nothing i don't find it so that's the reason i asked like have we met before i asked that question first itself and where have we met that question i posted okay now what happened uh, so she didn't reply she was like call me uh, pick my call first i thought it was something important though because no students uh, dare to call me at that point of time uh, it was around 10 30 or something only people who know me they i have given them the liberty but not the new person so constantly i thought okay something very important might have happened because it was again and again i picked up the call and this girl suddenly she came she started looking at me in a different way okay i was like okay fine he's going to tell something i, I thought we, have, we might have met because i thought it was only a student really she started doing like this okay then some action she started doing suddenly i got the call i literally got scared okay somewhat literally shivered because this don't happen to me and none of my students ever dare to text me like that also okay they are very scared even though any sessions which i have with students it would to be a group interview also last time also when one student made some background voices i removed him completely out of the meeting i immediately reported to the this one a uh, cyber this one and normally anything happens to me not even every student is literally scared of me okay i maintain the professionality i am a very ethical person but normally they are very scared also they are so much respectful so no students ever dare to me in case if they doing also they get tight slap from my face uh, from my hand that's the other part of the story but suddenly she started doing i immediately got shook okay because this incident had never happened to me before and then i was like okay fine what what can i do so suddenly my parents were there i just informed them and along with it i had my friend his name is yuvraj so he's like an elder brother a uh, elder guidance person so i also informed him so i normally so whenever you are also in a problem you know along with your parents inform one other person who you trust a lot or who can give you the right advice now compared to all other friends i choose only him or that particular as an elder person to inform first why because i have some kind of trust because he will provide me a feedback or he will tell me what i need to do extra so uh, i inform so my parents is also fine fine just immediately report and block and i also put a reply back and i also inform you so you were just like uh, bro pavan don't worry it's fine uh, it might be a prank call by someone who you know or it could be with someone unknown person also but be careful immediately try to put a message and try to block it finish the story by now and then i send a reply okay i'll show you the reply what i did it's like your call has been reported to the police which i i messaged her i'm not showing her name and all number though i report and block your call see this is a call which i got okay your call has been reported to the police station don't you dare to call again it has been reported to the cyber security authority of india your video call has been reported kindly face a legal consequence in the court of law under it rules it me it means what information technology rules in that they have certain kind of rules and regulation regulations violation of the infringement of privacy under the law so i was like how dare you i send this to yuvraj also how dare you ever text a lawyer like that so it's normal thing okay so i'm not a bva student i'm not a bcom student i'm a law student so you should never mess up with a law student that's the first important message second important message is that see guys when such situation happen to you even in your college life you will get such kind of prank calls you will get such kind of calls sometimes it could be even threat so i am a person even little me even little more try to be social so i also get such kind of messages but normally i try to avoid it but such as a college student also you will get such kind of message don't fall into trap never fall into trap inform the people i inform to my parents i inform to someone who is very much elder to me two people's advice i took two people's suggestion i took rather than me taking some kind of stupid decision or me i could have been talked into or i could have been taken advantage of that moment but i immediately reported because there are many instances there or these 
these girls itself you know for example uh, they normally we tell that boys are very bad boys are very, i'm not telling that boys and girls are very bad no problems faced by girls are also one side problems faced by boys are also one side so even the boys who also face such kind of problems you should understand that boys many of the boys will go into depression because of that because sometimes they will take that photo they will take your photo and they'll tell that okay he, this person has done so and so things for me they might uh, in photoshop they might edit your picture with something else he has uh, spoken so and so thing to me he, they will send it to entirely viral towards the social media and you will be held liable you literally will be held liable never 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 such never take an never make an other person to take an advantage report it immediately at right moment i immediately reported this case immediately i reported this case i knew what to be done now in case if you are also facing it immediately report it take a strict actions there itself at the initial stage if you don't know neither no person will take advantage of you this is a message for all the boys regardless of you are from which ever domain it is i am grateful that this problem had happened to me because i could because of me you could get a message out of it okay never allow a person to take advantage of you at any point of time any contact you getting in your college life that when you are when such kind of people are misbehaving immediately report take some strict actions it's fine so no person can take advantage this is a message uh, which i want to share with you hope this message can literally help you a lot because you know uh, in college life you require some someone to advise it's not just about just reaching into college life no there is so much stories behind it there is so much learnings you get it and that is basically possible by getting people's advice keeping right people can network so stay in touch with me always yaar i'll be much happy to help you work people and even reach out to me in any kind of platforms i'll be much happy to help you so that's all wishing you all the best good luck let's transform this youth of country into a very much positive and sustaining manner that's all wish you all the best good luck jai hind jai bharat guys take care